Commander, Dr. Chuck was sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the medbay. Shepard? Remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise Ice Brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... indulge my impatience. Doctor, put that bottle in a safe place. We'll crack it open to celebrate our victory over the Reapers. Admire your optimism, and I'll look forward to the day we can share it. Till then. So, Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. Hello, Commander. Commander? Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Signal confirmed. Signal confirmed.
nothing. Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Your homeworld? You mean Rannoch? Correct, Commander. 300 years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to the home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geral. We need to retreat or we'll lose the life ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tali Zora Vas Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tali. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing.
I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. We're approaching the Quarian home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem.
All right. Once we're aboard, we find whatever's broadcasting the Reaper signal and shut it down. Tally's our expert on Geth software. She'll be handling hacking and security. Good to have you back, Tally. And maybe with another Dextro aboard, they'll get better Turian food. As long as it's sterilized. Dr. Michelle did get me some Dextro amino chocolate. You're welcome to it once we're back. She got you Turian chocolate? She said she saw it and thought of me. Why? Oh, nothing. Shepard, there's a problem. All tubes except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. Got it. You're clear to board. so far. They haven't detected us yet. 
Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. Looks impressive. It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy pulse on contact that disrupts shields and synthetics. That'll be handy. How come I don't get a new gun? So where are we headed? We're looking for an operations center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. God, vents. Always the vents. You did fine at the collector base. I got set on fire! Guardian anti-fighter lasers. Looks like they're using ultraviolet frequencies, like the Solarians. Expensive. Bet it gives them an edge in close combat, though. When the fleet rushed the Dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. Come on, let's get to the op center before they lose more. Watch out! Get incoming! of how the Quarians are doing. We're taking heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. Is there anything we can do to help them? Just make their sacrifice worthwhile. The Dreadnought's operation center is just ahead. Good. Let's get the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. The Hunters are moving in! Console is operational.
Hurry! My people are getting torn apart out there! Damn it! They've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. There! The Reaper signal's coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Right, but how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile geth on the other side of the doors. Watch out, they're dropping in! send you on this mission, Tally. Even admirals are expected to serve. I'm better at hacking than I am ordering ships around. Yeah, against an enemy dreadnought, your combat drone would just float there making that... noise. I missed you too, Geras. signal deactivated shortly, Admiral.
That'll buy us time. No way they'll fire with that maintenance lock in place. Let's move.
Hopefully we're done with elevators. And come on, the drive course shouldn't be far. being controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily. Or maybe it's hacked. Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once freed, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth, simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper's signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Far side of the room, you said? Yes, deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and rewrote the heretics for what? Nothing? No, you successfully rewrote the heretics. The decision to ally with the old machines was difficult. Had the Creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. Sounds like they only joined the Reapers because the Quarians attacked. Nothing excuses an alliance with the Reapers. They could have found another way. Some would say the same about Turians curing the Genophage and allying with the Krogan. Damn it! I begged them to negotiate rather than attack. I did. Let's just get Legion out of there. <sighs> Got it. Tali Zora to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. <laughs> the Dreadnought's Drive core. All weapons and barriers are offline. Alert! Death reinforcements incoming!
Dreadnought while you were on board? They were supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead... I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. 
Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Talizora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. You're military, you understand that. I understand that you wasted your chance to withdraw safely. The Dreadnought was a perfect target. This is exactly the kind of short-sighted, bloodthirsty behavior I was worried about. If you could retake Earth with a little friendly fire, you'd do it in a heartbeat. You're lucky I need your ships, Admiral. I've got to get back to the Heavy Fleet. Ron, we'll talk later. Bostet. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Had. Admiral Corris sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. I see your Geth friend has returned. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Consensus. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about it, Spear? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. Legion is my friend. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. The scientific benefits... ...are off the table. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila! I need to warn the fleet. Zen, coordinate with Geralt. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting Creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. <laughs> The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. What do you need? Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the homeworld. You're not worried about her losing perspective given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Dali said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury-rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Ferrixen. Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? 
Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the Council will buy that technicality? If need be. I'll apologize once this war is over. And in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines, but we'll do whatever we must to win. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships? Admiral Corris commands them. If he survived his crash landing on Rannoch. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kodesh! We've lost barriers! Our comm system is jammed! Can anyone hear this? We have death fighters incoming! Please, if anyone can hear this, we need help! We have hull breaches! Life support failing! Ron, the Kinesh is getting swarmed by Geth fighters. Damn it. Interceptors, divert to the Kinesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, we'd have lost the ship. about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. How did the war with the Geth get started, anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Taddy. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. Shepard Commander, you opposed Creator Admiral Zen's attempt to confiscate our platform. She's done enough already. Your assistance continues to be noted. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarian's live ships? Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. 
If the live ships are damaged, the creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it? Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The Creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Rewriting the heretics increased the number of Geth allied with the old machines. This has resulted in a greater number of hostile Geth platforms. So you're saying it was a mistake? It has put us at a tactical disadvantage. This was not a foreseen outcome, but we cannot change a decision once it is made. Do you harbor regrets about rewriting the heretics? The Quarians hit first. If we get rid of the Reaper signal, maybe this war doesn't have to end with everyone destroyed. An interesting notion. Most organics would not hold on to ideals of peace for so long. What was interfacing with a Reaper like? The old machine took total control of our sensory equipment, our networking, even then. We could not fully comprehend them. They are magnitudes above us. A single thought was immense, overwhelming, unknowable. You're making them sound godlike. Their forms are advanced but mundane. We do not view the old machines as analogs to deities. However, we have gained perspective on why others would imbue them with these qualities. What did you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Veil. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. That must have been nice. We'll talk later. We will remain here. fleet's combat data to ours. They've got amazing technical coverage. They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. Commander?
Man, those Quarian Admirals are intimidating. And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked because, like, who knows? Is a tentacle monster under there? What is that? What's under there? Good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Adams is good, but I never feel like the engine's running right without Tally around. Kind of a good luck charm. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? We are not. Right. Just making sure. Different standards and all. And you found Legion! He's still wearing that piece of your armor? Because that wasn't creepy at all. Shepard, the Get continue to block Quarian access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. We can hit the Quarian homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. Commander. One moment. I have been contacted by Legion. Your new platform is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. This is an infiltration unit, meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat. Nor will they until my day of reckoning. Edie. Did I vocalize that on the bridge? You did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. Hello, Shepard. 